sun becomes too hot on this rice. Hmm? To make sure we do some appreciating work in front of hmm. Your mother, or son, and I are going to be found without breakfast. So you will stay behind us to prepare breakfast. We're going to finish with that. Give to your uncle, Rufus, and then come rest to the fire. I'm waiting, huh? I will that. You heard it. Come with the, come with the rest of it. He didn't say you should stay at home and eat your own before coming. Interpreter. Why don't you just make the salmon shorter by saying, Dear sis, please hurry up with the food. Because if you don't come in good time, I just may die of hunger. This kid's gonna kill me. What do you say, Jack? It's alright. Do your brother. I don't feel you have to. Thank God we arrived this place up. According to plan, huh? Eh? No, you know what? Um, also, um, take this water. Hmm? Go and hide it in that shrub. Huh? So that it doesn't get heated up when the hey, sun okay. arises. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. You know, go. Uh -huh. It's a tango we, we arrived here on time. I saw to be a good one. Oh, no, there's too much work here. We must clear all of them if we must have to meet up. Because the, uh, what do you call it, the, the planting period is almost uh, uh -huh, elapsing now. So, uh, at once, please, hold him, start from here. Okay, bro. Go down, go down, down. Yes. I'm just going to
my friend. How did it go? Are you sure they did not see you? Not yet. We're going back there, you and I. We have to watch them die. Then we dispose the remaining water in the container so that nobody can trace their deaths to it. Vultures in this forest will feed on your bones. Move. Can you please spare me the agony of watching my own die such wicked deaths? Poisoning them is the same thing as watching them die. So don't feed me with that moral crap. Move. Obviously you don't believe that I poisoned the water, right? Rufus, in the game of blackmail, a thinking victim is a dangerous victim. That you no longer resist me does not mean you have stopped thinking. Your exact words to me, the last time, paraphrased. What is it also? Huh? Don't worry. I know you are very hungry. Party at Osumbu, you have food, huh? You know what? Seriously, that I'm very, very hungry. Uh-huh. Osan, don't want Maybe taking some water will help. Eh? Me, I'm thirsty to go and bring water. Let all of us drink. That's a good idea. Uh-huh. I'm also thirsty. Okay. Well. So. Go and get your water, huh? Bring, let's drink, I beg. Oh, my God. 
will punish you. God will punish you, Madam Perito. Shut up, my man. Throw it. What are you carrying? Your breakfast. So early? Yes, I had to quickly prepare it so that I can take that of my parents and not send it to them at the farm. Oh, they've gone to the farm already. Okay. Let me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
bring these corpses here. Elders! These corpses! Oh! Is this my father? My mother! And my brother also! Shut up, young lady! Yes, young man. He was asking you, who asked you to bring it, to bring this thing? Harriet asked us to bring the corpses home. Rufus! Were you not aware of the implications? How dare you? Who are these boys? I don't know them. I don't know them. I have never met them before in my life. They're lying against me. Then, young men, who are you and why did you have to do this to us? Eh? What are they? Are you not the ones she's asking? They're asking you and you are going away. How did you come about me? What is going on? Oh, Kurufas! Oh, Kurufas, what is happening? Calm down. Calm down. Ah! The presence of these corpses here has contaminated this whole place and made this compound a taboo. Meaning what exactly? What it means is in this land, Corpses of people who die in the bush are not brought back home. They are buried right there in the bush. So I ask you again, Harriet. Why didn't you inform me before hiring those guys? I don't know them. I just told you I don't know them. Hold it, hold it. You must, please, you must go after the elder. We have to find a way out before it is too late. Just go. Go, please. Go. There must be a way out. Go. Please, Harriet honestly said she didn't know the boys that brought the corpses. There is no point begging us, Rufus. It's your family that what happened puts in danger, not us. At all. Eh? Even you know that very well. I do, and that is why I'm begging. Please, considering the fact that my family's financial condition is so dead now, we can't even afford the sacrifice, the cleansing rites. Rufus, you have three months to perform the family cleansing rites. Or people will start to die off in your family. God forbid. Within these three months, however, no indigenous of this community will set a foot into your compound. Or else the person will die. So, for your sake, that of Harriet and other innocent citizens, please go and get the money quickly and get it done. We don't want anybody to die again. And nobody will die, my elders. I'm telling you, my family will endure the three months isolation. And we hope that before its expiration, we'll be able to raise the money. Thank you for at least listening to me. You are welcome. Thank you.
I can see the pressure building up more and more of us. Haven't you done enough harm? Please, I beg you in God's name, stop. Then convince Harriet to agree to marry my son, and I will stop. How can I possibly discuss that with her in her present condition? Then if you cannot, stop talking and listen, let me tell you the next step. The cleansing rites must be carried out this week. How is that possible? How do I raise the huge amount of money involved? Rufus, I am a money lender. The compound where you live, her own father's portions of land are still there. Just get me the documents to all of them and I will give you the I should give you everything including the house? Where would Harriet and I live if eventually we fail to pay up and you take everything? You still do not get it, do you? Harriet will be living in my house as my son's wife. And as for you, I will return everything including your own portions of land and most importantly the murder tape everything free of charge as soon as harriet marries my son however that so it is true so harriet was right when she said she didn't know those boys who brought the corpses back so it was you who hired them to sink us even deeper into the squagmire you created how could you just rufus you have The implication of what happened today is that you, Harriet, and each other will be the ones to carry those corpses to the forest and bury them there. So why don't you go and think about that first and stop asking stupid questions? the huge amount of money required for it. Well, I... I have decided to sell this compound and sell your father's portion of the plant so we can raise the money to take care of that. You must be joking. Get me the documents. I... Myself, I don't like the idea. I'm not comfortable doing this, but then we have to do what we have to do to sort the situation out. And you think that doing what you just suggested is the best way to sort it out? Okay, let me ask you a question. If you sell off everything, what becomes of me? How do we get to that bridge we'll cross it? We know how to go. And mind you, I also stay in this compound. Don't forget. God forbid. I will never, ever be a part of any such arrangement. I will not give you the documents. Ijoma, you heard her. I'll quit me from what I kill her. If she does not hand me those documents, I won't be part of the burial of Brother Njoko, his wife, and Osondo. Count me out. Rufus, you can't say that. Without you, Harriet and I can't bury them. Can we dig the graves? Even if we can, I don't see us being able to carry their corpses to the forest for the burial. Mba! May 
maybe Harriet can do it alone. Otherwise, you won't be sitting here arguing with me. Listen to me. Call me when you're ready to hand over these documents. Uncle Rufus! Oh, God, oh, God, this is not happening. Oh, this is not happening. This is not happening. Let's do my please. Please, let me let me bring him to Harriet. Please, please. I think you have to do what you just said. Or else, I will have nothing to do with you henceforth. And to please, you can't say, where are you going? To my house. Come and call me when you're ready to do as he said. Auntie Juma, don't say that! Oh, no, Auntie Juma! Uncle Rufa! Auntie Juma! Please don't oh, fuck, please. Please help me. Help me, I beg you, please. Please help me, please help me. The cleansing rite you demanded for must be carried out this week. And for that, he's demanding that I release to him documents to all my father left behind to him. He wants, he wants to sell off everything. Elders, please, help me to stop him, Nico. Well, Harriet, in our custom, Rufus, as the only surviving male member of their family, has the final say in this issue. If that is his decision, there's nothing any of us can do about it. Not, absolutely nothing. Elders, he is threatening not to participate in the burial of my parents and brother if I don't release the documents to him. How can I carry three, three adult corpses back to the forest? Dig their graves and bury them in lore. Please help us, please. Well, my dear Harriet, you are talking to the wrong people. Go back to Rufus and talk to him. Help us. Is he right to blackmail me like this? Can't 
can't you at least help me stop him? Despite what happened, I am still one of you. Your heartbroken daughter. Please. 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 We are true with you, Harriet. Where are those of this compound and the farm plantation? Look, Rufus. I need a roof over my head. After the burial and cleansing rites. I need something to help me earn some money to survive. For that, please, I'm sorry. I can't give you those two documents. No deal, then. of land and I know that the proceeds from the sales will be more than enough to cover the cleansing rite and the burial twice how can you get me the documents or stop disturbing my life Mother's reincarnate. How can you betray this to me? Are you not moved by the tears of your own mother? <laughs> Remember how my parents loved you. Harriet, if I get up from this seat, you won't like what will happen to you. Now get out and make sure those corpses don't start decomposing this compound. Go and get me the document or something. of hell. The person that directed me to you, Ma, told me that if I could get the right collateral backed by original documents, that you would give me the money. So, these documents are five of my father's best portions of land. Take them and give me the money. Let me just get over this whole tragedy. Harriet, <laughs> honestly, I sympathize with you. It's only someone with a heart of, of stone that would not be moved after hearing you. I would have loved to help you. But, you see, as a woman, you don't have the right to sell land in our culture without the full backing of a man in your family. Ma, I am not selling the land to you. I'm only using them as collateral to borrow money from you. They are both the same thing, my dear. So go. 
get your uncle Rufus involved or don't bother coming back here for the same reason. Madam, please. Shut my gate after you. Auntie Joma. Okay. It's me, Harriet. Harriet. Mm. Have you complied with Rufus? Auntie. He's still insisting on selling off everything. Even after I offered him the documents to nine of the lands. Excluding the compound and the palm plantation. And what did you do then? Argue with him the more, I guess. I see, Joba. I came here from Madame Teresa's house, the money lender. Right. With the documents to just five lands, she has agreed to loan me the money for the cleansing right. Except that she's insisting that unless Uncle Rufus is involved, she won't release the money. In that case, you should be talking to the boss and not me. And please, come and help me. Let's go and beg him. He nearly beat me up the last time I went to him to discuss this. Harriet, it's almost nightfall. Our tradition forbids a woman who is mourning her husband from going out of her compound at sunset.
couldn't bear her cry anymore. She doesn't deserve this. Those corpses lying out there are corpses of members of my family. I, I can't continue with this. You have no choice. I love Harriet so much. She's my mother reincarnated. Yet you agreed to poison her entire family to death. You and I did that. In fact, you practically forced me to do that. So if I go public, you and I would get executed for murder. Really? Watch this. Jesus Christ. Do you have any such evidence linking me to that crime? You had me recorded doing that? Unless Harriet renders herself hopeless and helpless by giving you all the entire documents by 9 a.m. tomorrow, she, the elders, and the police will watch the video you just watched. How do I possibly make her do that by 9 a.m. tomorrow? Check any ano. Check any ano. You have brain, don't you? You said. public health risk and also a bit of the peace. You don't understand that using corrosive acid to chase our kinsmen and myself away so that we won't bury these corpses before they start decomposing is a crime? Take her away! Officer, he's lying against me. Uncle Rufus! No one. You have the right to remain silent because anything you say now can be used against you in the court of law. Daughter! Brother, wait, wait, wait. Officer, Jeff. Give me a hand! Put the keys to the house. What's the key? Take her away. I didn't do it. Somebody should please help. Move it. Move it. I didn't do it. Are you this is Move it. 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 Move
good job. Well, let, let me get the documents you will sign and get the money. Uh, excuse me. How much are you giving me? The exact amount you need for the cleansing rights. But the value of this property is more than 4 million naira. Rufus, a beggar has no choice. Mother Teresa, if you give me that amount, how do I then... Listen, my friend. I'm even giving you that money on one condition. That you'll be the only one to live in that compound. So stop talking and think of a way to fix that girl from the compound. What are you talking about? That compound, including the house I live in, belongs to Harriet's parents. How do I possibly evict her from it? Find a way. That's your next assignment. Fail, and I will destroy you with what I have. Hey! from the police. I did. And I did not only bail her. I also threatened the police with a court action. If they ever come back for her for any reason. How dare you, Ijoma? How dare you? Hey, wait! Please, Uncle Rufus. Give Auntie Joma a break and explain to me why you're throwing my belongings out of my father's compound. I am moving you out of this compound right away. You're what? Yes. Asseke. Rufus, Asseke. You will only do that if I drop dead now. What is your problem, Rufus? Why are you doing this? Why are you throwing her rest things out of her father's compound? Have you forgotten that this house is your wife belongs to her late father? Answer me. You and her rest here, who should be throwing the other out? I am the man of the compound! Mm. Uncle Rufus, I have decided not to marry. I will stay back with the children that will bear my father's name. I see. <laughs> you can't try that! Never! <laughs> well, According to Auntie Joma here, our tradition allows me such option. The same tradition elevates me to the status of a man in the family once I take that option. And that's what I have. So talk to me as a fellow man, else I will throw you out of my father's compound. Don't worry. Tomorrow I will come back with all the items she needs to formally provide her that. Ijoma, you won't dare that. So you're the one backing this thing to flaunt my orders. Get one. A second. Rufus, as the daughter of this family who has gone through pains of childbirth, if I come back here in my nakedness and costume, you will run mad in time. That's our tradition and you know it, Rufus. Don't tempt me into doing that by standing on our way. Be gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
Have a hand in the deaths of your father, your mother, Osandu, and Ijoma. Uncle Rufus, are you accusing me of being behind the death of my own parents and my elder brother, Osandu? Uncle Rufus, are you denying it? Wait, you think we're all dumb? We are stupid. How come in all the incidents you were the first person to see the corpses? You are innocent. You are a wicked man! How could you even 
even they consult you. Angel Harriet, ask this elders the meaning of what I just did before you go on rambling and racking. I will ask nobody anything because I am tearing this rubbish down and I treat my father's stuff up. One hand and Harriet. Do you want to kill yourself? If your body ever touches that pamphlet, you will run mad for the rest of your life. And not even the best psychiatrist in the whole world will be able to take care of you if that happens. He's the only one who can remove you from there. And nobody, I mean, nobody can force you to do so. So calm down, please. You must be joking. That's the implication of what your uncle did here. He has locked you up completely. Hey, who force? You're not just being fed to your innocence. Okay? Let me just. Elders! Say. One Madame Teresa to stop interfering in my family affair. Inugia! Get out. In fact, all of you get out. Get out! Get out! Young woman, how do you want us to help you? I want you to, to arrest and compel my uncle to remove those palm fronts and allow me access into my father's house. Your uncle? <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We are going to arrest him. Yes. We are going to arrest him. That is, if you are ready to give us 100,000 cash now, straight, we will bring him here and deal with him. 100K? Yes. We will deal with him today. We will bring him. 100,000? Yes. Yeah. Where am I supposed to get that amount of money from here? I don't have. Even the said house that is barricaded, if, if, you, if you open it and allow me access into it, I don't have a dime. Yeah. Officer, please, you have to help. How do you want us to arrest him? Anyhow you want to do it, please. How do you want us to bring him here? We are going to, we are going out with our car and we will fear it. But you will try to please. If she doesn't have the money, please throw her out. And if she resists, detain her. Please, please, please. Please, please, I beg you. You got the money? I don't have money. Hey, I don't have money. Okay, you don't get money, why arrest us? They go! Please go! go. go. I thank you! Ma. Ma, the elder said that if a certain sacrifice is offered, the palm front could be removed with or without my uncle's uh, consent. As I was told, the sacrifice will cost nothing less than, um, <coughs> than 100 and 50,000 Naira. Please, help me, Ma. Please. With the money? Yes. Where well, are it? I'm a money lender. I lend money with good collateral. So what are you giving me as a collateral? Oh. Ma, the... The implication... The implication of what happened is that I have nothing else in this world except this cloth that I'm wearing. Too bad. By saving your life today, I have helped you enough. So if you don't have the collateral to give me, you can try some more. It's okay. <laughs> The truth is that I have been to virtually everybody in this village. <laughs> Many of them wouldn't even let me into their compass. Least of all, <laughs> listen to me. That's it. The implication of what your uncle did is that you have been forbidden from entering anybody's house in this village. Hey, 
any compound you step your feet into is automatically a taboo. Hey. That is why we are here talking. And you're going to the police like you told me earlier is even a mistake. You shouldn't have. Like the elders say, nobody can force reforce to remove the palm folds. Or it becomes null and void. Well, you can try someone else and fast, okay? You can actually... Listen, I, I have something on the phone. Hey, Mama. Mama, please. I know. You can help me, of a son, you Jezebel. It will not happen. And who will stop me? Me! Rufus, I think it's about time I told you a little story. Tina did not start your dilemma. I did. 
I only brought Tina in at my convenience. And when she was done playing her part, I killed her. The post her arms and collected all my money. You killed Tina? Now tell me, how do you think a woman who went that far to start what is happening now will quit just because you said no? <laughs> of course, you know, going to the police is out of the question. And for the elders, their mouths are all stuffed with bribes. You and Harriet are all alone. Play along with me and all will be well. Oh God, oh God. How, how could I have been so blind to something so glaring? How did I play into the hands of this devil? Madame Teresa, why me? Why my family? Why Harriet of all the girls in the world? Rufus, if you were a lady, would you marry my son under normal circumstances? Of course, I know the answer is no. Why you people? I was searching for a vulnerable family with an unmarried maiden. Along the line of my search, I came upon the mother team. And with that, I knew my problem was instantly solved. The family became the vulnerable family I was searching for. Cuts it of you. So first, you wrecked your entire family. Don't, me. Don't you dare blame me for that. I am the victim here. Made so by who? Yourself, of course. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I will never cooperate with you again. Never again. Rufus, you will be playing with fire. The worst you will do is have me killed. And if that's what you want to do, then be my guest. Because if I step out that door, it's game over for you. Boys. What do you think you're doing? Watch and see. Watch and see what? Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't you dare hit me! Man, Madame Teresa, you have not had the last of me. You will pay for you. Hey, drop me. I said, drop me down, don't you dare hit me. Is she still at the graveside? Do it by eight p.m. Good luck, guys.
successful. In fact, I have never seen a more frightened lady all my life. Really? So where is she now? Um, she couldn't stand our last one slot, so she fainted close to the village square. I had to order my boys to end it at that point. Are you sure of what you're telling me? If you don't believe me, come with me and see for yourself. Hell no. I don't want her to link everything that happened to her today to me. No. Excuse me. This is your balance. Well, just like the day you and your guys brought back the corpses of our parents and brother from the forest, I'm proud of you. Thank you very much.
her mother's younger sister, precisely. Tom. Ma. Get him something to drink. Okay, ma. Where is Harriet? I need to see her. I know. Get some refreshments while I get her for you, okay? So, so what do you want for you? I'm really not in the mood to take anything. Thank you very much. You don't want to drink it. Where is she? Take it. Take it. Take it. No, man. You made this for her. I'll give it to you. This is good money. Just take it and give me the meal in your hand. But ma, I, I... How much is your monthly salary? 26,000 naira, ma. And I'm offering you 5,000 US dollars just for you to give me the meal in your hand. Do you love poverty so much that you don't know what this money can do for you? No, ma, but you know the... Listen, I will withdraw the offer. If in the next five seconds this money is still in my hand. One, two, three, four. I'll take the money. I'll take it. Give me the mail. But ma, there is something I would want you to sign for me. Tom will do the signing. He has perfected the art of signing Harriet's signature. Ma, are you... Important? What is your problem? Give me this meal and go home and be useful to yourself with the money you have there. Let me have it. Excuse me. So where is the thing you want me to sign for you? Okay.
his hands and release his There is a new development. The patient's office wrote Harriet, informing her that her father's gratuity is ready for collection. They asked her to come and sign the requisite papers and collect the money, which is over 4.5 million. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Did I tell you? I told you you would succeed. <laughs> you would have allowed me finish before you start rolling out your drums to celebrate, idiot. You have nothing more of importance to say. You can't blackmail me into helping you this time around. <laughs> I told you. Really? Well, Harriet is not aware of the letter yet. The man I paid to watch your compound brought the postman to me. So I paid him and collected the letter. You what? How? Please, I... I beg you in God's name. Take that letter to Harriet. Say, send the letter to Harriet. I, I will cooperate with you all the way. I promise. Please. Sam. Right. Right what? A petition to the police. <laughs> Count me off anything you're doing until you have sent that letter to Harriet. Kelvin. Madam. Do you have the pliers with you? Good. Sam, hold him down. Eh? Stop pulling off his nails with that flyer. Start! For every two seconds he wastes without doing what I'm saying, pull out him. When you are done with this thing, post his pockets. Stop pulling. Uh, you did. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, okay. I. I will. Wait. I will. Please. I, I will. to help you. Help me? You want to give me the money? 
If I do that, I will only be sinking you deep into debt. And that is no help. I have all the documents to Rufus's court that will be used with growing money. And, um, they are in the car, actually. You want to, to threaten him with it so that... I want to return them to him. Forget all the money he borrowed from me or the shop that I Are you? Are you pulling my legs? Come and enter the car, let's go and see me. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. Easy, easy, God easy. bless you. Amen. Amen. I'm so great to ask you. Seven-year-old boy walked into our station this morning with a petition. He said your uncle Rufus gave him the petition and even begged him to bring the petition to our office. Before we could ask him any further uh, question, he dropped the letter and ran away. Where is your uncle Rufus? Officer, calm down. You're not really making sense to us. The girl asked you why you are placing her under arrest. In the same petition that Rufus wrote, he said he found a concrete evidence proving that Harriet Hare is the one that poisoned the parents and the brother. Where is Rufus? He said he got the petition from inside his toilet. Are you now interrogating the police? Are you teaching me my job? You are teaching me my job. I don't know where he is. I just told you. We just got here now. You have the right to remain silent. Because anything you say now can't be used against you in a court of law. Go for it. No, 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 Madam Teresa. Please help me tell these people that I don't know where he is. Officer, wait, calm down. Just hold on, small. I don't know where he is. My dear, my dear, my dear. This is beyond what I bargained for when I said I was going to help you. I have to leave now. I can't do that! Please! What is going on, Nurse? Your suspicion is right, Tony. But tragically, 
your mother is doing more than you are suspecting. She and two criminals under her payroll have almost wiped out an entire family and frustrated their only surviving daughter without measure just to force her to accept her as her husband. My God! You mean my mother has killed people just to get someone to marry a vegetable like me? As I'm talking to you, Oh, Mr. Rufus, the guest uncle, the only person who could have stopped your mom is being forcefully detained under this roof. As if that is not enough, your mother conspired with the police to declare him missing and detain the girl, accusing her of being behind his disappearance. They are also accusing her of poisoning her parents and her only brother which in fact your mother forced her uncle to do. Stop! Just, just stop, please! It is not up to two hours. I told you I have a feeling that my mother is doing something evil and asked you to help me find out if it's true. And here you are telling me all this. How did you get the information in just two hours? Am I to take it that you made up all these wicked stories against my mother? I did not make up anything. Calvin, one of the criminals working for your mom, he has been making sexual advances on me in the last few days. He told me everything in bed in the last hour. You mean? You slept with such a devil just to get me information else. As can see, Tony, I have my bag packed already. I am leaving this place this moment. Can't stay here anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Please. Do me a favor, please. What favor? Don't just go away. Please do. Everything humanly possible to stop my mom and free that girl. Please promise me you'll do this before you leave. Okay, okay. I promise I'll do, okay? But for now, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Then you betray our plans. Kevin, I say, how? Shut up. Where is Mr. Rufus? I don't know where he is. I, I don't. He drove me out. 
will you for once stop lying to me, Harriet? I told you all the truth. You need to know what I said. You're not lying to me. But he wrote a petition against you to the effect that uh, he's afraid you might harm him for stumbling on some evidence linking to you, your poisoning of your family members. And fear was later he disappeared. If my uncle wrote such a letter, then he lied against me. He did not poison my family. I did not threaten him. He found no evidence because none existed in the first place. Obviously, they do not for jokes here. Do it. <laughs> What is it, Kelvin? Miss Tony, he's still proving difficult to. Don't tell me that after pleading with him, before leaving both of you in the room, that he still refused to eat and take his drugs. Oh yes, he refused. Oh, uh, madam, what are we going to do? Obviously he meant it when he said he will kill himself if I don't release Rufus and Harriet immediately. Too bad. He does not have hands to do all that. So he decided to employ a method someone like him would use. Starvation and refusing medical help. God forbid that I will allow him to die and mess up all my plans. By hook or by crook. He has to remain alive until Harriet finally becomes his wife. Then he can go ahead and die. Oh, but, um, madam, you still haven't told me what to do. When Sam got stupid enough to have slept with the nurse and revealed everything to her, what did you tell me was your reason of killing both of them? To save our project from collapsing on us, man. Good. If you could kill your colleague and friend of so many years just to save a project, a project that is more important to me than to you, what do you think I cannot do to save that same project? Okay, Tony, your food is there. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Well, I, gave you. I told you I will not eat anything until I die. And I mean it. Bosses. I said, open your mouth. Kelvin, force his mouth open. <clears throat> Hold him!
Panthers. I must thank God you're here. Thank God. I did not do it. I didn't poison my family. I don't have a hand in the disappearance of Uncle Rufus. That's if actually he's disappeared. And you were there. You all were witnesses to how he how he drove me out of my father's compound. I mean, how could I have done that when when I really so Will you shut up, Harriet? And let others talk. Do you think you can parrot yourself out of the crimes you committed? I'm not a criminal officer. Elders, I have committed no crime. I am innocent. Save me, please. Um, please, Elders. Repeat what you told me in my office a while ago before her. Uh, Harriet, we the Elders of our community I reviewed the petition that uh, Rufus sent to the police mm -hmm. and concluded that you are guilty as charged. As you know, our custom stipulates clearly how criminals and murderers like you should be punished. And uh, therefore, our community and the elders now sent us to come and secure your release so that we can punish you accordingly. Yes. And that yes. is why we are. No, no, no. Officer. Officer, please. Don't let them take me. They will hang me. Just don't listen to them. Officer, don't listen to her. Release her to us. That is why we are here. Yes. Officer. Officer, please. I don't mind staying here and receiving more horrible tortures in your hand. But please do not release me to them. They will waste me. They will kill an innocent soul. Please let me stay here. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Please let me stay here. Please. I mean, Adas, you will have to give me more time to consult with my superiors. As you know, being one case, thorough investigation has to be carried out before arriving at any conclusion. And we are still at it. Mm. Officer, if after eight days she is still alive and on our soil, she and those who made such possible will become taboos on our land. And we have no option than to drive her and such people out of our land. Failure, which the youth will be free to kill them anywhere they see them within our territory. Huh? Are you ready to allow yourself and your men to become victims of our people's wrath by keeping her here much longer? Are you in any way threatening my men and I? Colleagues, look. This evil murderer here is not worth endangering your safety and that of your colleagues. Be wise and release her to her people today. Yes. Elders, let's go. be more vulnerable than she is right now. Any offer of help, even if it comes from the devil himself, will be acceptable to her right now. So what you're saying is that I can go ahead to present my proposal to her? Oh yes, ma'am. Even if she doesn't accept any proposal in this present condition, then look for someone else and marry for yourself. She will accept it. I know she must accept it. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your help so far. You will all get your balance as soon as Harriet is legally married to my son. Meanwhile, let us have a drink. 
Calvin! Get a bottle of wine. Where are it? They have told me what transpired between you and the elders. Please, do whatever you can to get me out of here. I am innocent. Please. I'm helping you already. With the help of the women leaders in this community, the elders have backed down. Indeed? Yes. What they wanted to do to you is not backed by our custom and tradition. No indigent in this village is executed for murder. If that case is not well established that he or she actually committed it. In your own case, everything was based on hearsay. Even Rufus's petition is too dubious to be true. Has Uncle Rufus been found? No. Even at that. No one is supposed to punish you unless you voluntarily confess to committing the offense or some hard evidence is found linking you to them. For lack of such evidence, the elders backed down. On the side of the police, Harriet, you got so lucky today. A new police commissioner has been posted to the state who happens to be an old schoolmate of mine. I presented your case to him and he promised to order your release before the end of today. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you wait, so much. Wait. That's not all. I did everything because I, I believed you were innocent. However, all that changed an hour ago. When I got this. What's in it now? The people I paid to conduct it brought it to me an hour ago. The report states that Ijoma was strangled in her sleep. Why did you have to do it? I swear. I swear in the name of the Almighty God, I didn't do it. I mean, they were about forwarding it to the police when I paid for it and collected it. Well, Harriet, this report said that Ijoma was killed by a woman with very mild strength, and every evidence points down to you. Why? Well, as it is now, I don't have an option than to forward this report to the police and the elders. Then I will hands off your kids. Bye. Please. Don't do that. Don't, don't hand it over to them. They will kill me. I don't know what killed my aunt. Neither do I know how they came about this report. But you have to help me. Help me, please. I beg you, please. Help you conceal a crime? Harriet, do you understand what you're asking me to do? Mm. Please. Have mercy, help me. Don't let them close my father's lizard. Don't allow them to wipe us off. Please. please, I beg you, please. Oh, this is so hard. It, it's okay, it's okay. I will do what you're asking me to do on no condition. Tell me whatever it is. I'll be to it. Just say it. Agree to marry my paralyzed son and bear him children. And I will conceal your crime forever. What? Madame Terry 
Lisa. The process of making grandchildren for me starts now. I don't get you. <laughs> 